or not. And that was what was really striking to me about the first um, session that I went to, which was a recruitment event similar to this. And I was just in awe of how people are just showing up as themselves and saying, I'm really struggling with this, or this is really hard for me. Um, and I feel like I don't get that a lot in my career, because often in your career, you're trying to always show everyone that you can do the job and you can do it well. So you may not always say like, this is really hard for me, or I need help with this. Um, and that's what really made me want to join. So um, just that authenticity in the first session with people I had never even met before was really striking to me. Um, and I kind of carried that throughout my experience last year. I was a member of the 2021 cohort. Um, and I felt like working with the women in Tide Risers, I was just really able to get different perspectives that I wouldn't otherwise have had. And I felt like I was kind of in a rut in my job. Like I liked my job. I wanted to stay in my career. I work in um, higher education. I knew I wanted to stay in education, but something just didn't feel right. Um, and through my work with Tide Risers, I was able to realize that I was dedicating a lot of my time to things that didn't bring me joy or weren't the reasons that I had come to education. Um, so basically like answering emails, putting out fires, being in meetings, that sort of thing. And every day I was just really drained and just kind of unhappy with what I was doing. And so through working with my smaller group and um, other groups of uh, women, I was able to talk about it and kind of figure out, okay, I don't need to leave my job. I really just need to redesign the way I spend my time. Um, and luckily I have a great manager and a team who have, you know, promoted this, you know, supported me with this and kind of been my cheerleaders. But I decided that I was only going to have meetings before 1 p.m. so that I actually had time in the afternoons to dedicate to like deep thought work, innovation, analyzing data, which is the stuff that I love to do. Um, and so my team now, if I say like, oh, yeah, we can meet at two, they say, are you sure? You know, you know, you don't like to meet after one. I say, if it's a one off meeting, I can do it. But I tried to have all my recurring meetings happen before 1 p.m. And it really reinvigorated my excitement about doing my work. And my manager has talked about how she believes I'm you know, bring all of my value to the work again, because I'm not spending time responding to emails all day. I'm actually looking at ways to make our program better and support our students in a better way. Um, so that's been my experience. And for me, I kind of went for professional reasons, but it also bled into my personal life where now I'm trying to look more at how do I spend my time? Am I doing a lot of things that other people want me to do just because I feel like I should do them? Um, what do I actually want to do and how do I remain authentic to myself? And being a part of the Tide Risers community still, like I did the program, but I'm still involved in interacting with women that I've met allows me to continue to grow in that and, and um, build and I don't feel like it was a one-time thing and it's over. So it's a really great community to continue to take part in.